at you. Welcome back to the archives, guys. As you can see, we've got another beaver dam. We did well with the first video, so we thought we'd bring you another one. We got some cleaning up to do. So hit that subscribe button, grab your tick and mosquito spray, and let's get started. So welcome back to the archives guys. Today we're going to be doing some beaver clearing, beaver talking, and more. We've made it out here this far. We've got plenty of bug spray, I hope. <laughs> There's plenty of ticks out here. We're out here in the hot and heat while you're watching this in a comfortable car or house. Hit that subscribe button while you can. I want to show visually what a beaver dam actually looks like. So it's like they've got so much packed up leaves, leaves grass, mud, mud and, and as you can see it stops here and it drops off. It's kind of like an edge. And then it goes into bigger pieces of wood which goes down to the ground and it almost is like a, a brace. I don't know if you can see it in the edge of the water there kind of like braces holding this up so that way it doesn't flush out because this thing is probably two two and a half foot wide three foot wide yeah and it's crazy that they can drag i mean obviously they may use sticks that's around but they can drag these huge limbs some of those are four or five foot six foot and they take those and they throw them on top and they make a they build all this piece by piece so as you can see, that's a big height difference from the water here. The water here to there is probably about what a two, three foot drop. There he is. And another big beaver. up about 30 feet of, uh, 30 acres of water probably two feet deep we just ripped it out here four or five weeks ago
Vigilant Eye app for snakes. people go to dump bodies and never get found. Yeah. Like, we may be the first ones to ever touch that land. A lot of places we go is where nobody else ever goes. Yeah. So here's your, uh, the side fact. So what kind of plant is that? This is common milkweed. It's in the Asclepsia family. This is the most important plant there is for monarch butterflies. Huh. So during their migration, which is really, really fascinating, there's like several generations just to make one migration from all of North America up into Canada down to one place in Mexico. But the milkweed, the common milkweed, later in the summer, if we have monarchs, they will build one of their generations. They'll build a cocoon on the bottom side of these leaves. And then when they mature, they'll hatch and they take on with the rest of the, uh, with the rest of the trip to Mexico. Huh. So, yeah. And they're called milkweed because that right there. Yeah. That's the sap. And there's several, oh. there's several, uh, plants that produce a white sap. Now, the Indians used that for quite a few things, uh, and people still use them for warts, which I don't know if it's a, a yeah. placebo or not, but yeah. That's neat. I didn't, I didn't even know yeah. that. That's the milkweed. Let's try to get a fresh one down here. There's a young one. Yeah. Well, yep. So you, you can imagine, you know, we think of plants of being just sitting there doing nothing. Right. There's a lot of things happening inside and outside of that plant. All right, so there you have it. There's another beaver dam clearing, but we have one more to go, which you saw, and it's gonna be the biggest one that we have. You already know what we're doing. We're here to preserve the beavers. We're not here to harm them or kill them in any way. We're here to make sure that we're guiding them. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go check out our other one. We're gonna get home. Hit that subscribe button and uh, how many uh, how many snakes do you think are around us today? Eight. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.